Hello, in Recodine, the dynamic inputs such as forces and motions are expressed using expressions. It is not difficult to make a simple expression, but some of you may have difficulties in making complex expressions. This Recodine expression kit will introduce the overview of expression and then various examples that you can use for your models. This seminar consists of the following sessions. First, overview of expression. Second, overview of functions. Then, various examples that you can use for your models will be introduced. Beginner example, intermediate, advanced, and expert level. The first way to create an expression is to click the expression button of sub-entity, then generate an expression. As you can see, you can create expressions. You can drag and drop the arguments. And in the case of joint, you can also open the expression dialog box in the motion dialog box here. Done. For your information, you can change the font size by using the control key and the mouse wheel in expression editor, like this. Next one is sign function. It extracts the sign of y value. Rather than the basic usage, if you use it with sign with the parameters 1 and value as shown below, you can use it as a function to extract only the sign of value. For example, if you need to extract only the direction of the relative velocity, you can use it as sign with the parameters 1 and vx. Then the direction of the relative velocity between two markers can be obtained. This time, I will introduce spline interpolation. In order to use this function, you need to create a spline in sub-entity first and then use it in expression. There are four kinds of spline functions. Archis pool, cubes pool, lens pool, Spool. Their syntax is the same. What really matters is the first argument and the third argument. You can think of this interpolation as a function that takes the value of the first argument as the x value and substitute it for the specified spline curve. Then you can get the y value. As you can see, if x is 1, the y value is determined from this spline curve. Similarly, if x is minus 7, then the y value is determined from this curve. You can create repetitive values by using sine or cosine. In this example, I used dim with the parameters time and 1 to express repetitive values with time delay of 1 second. 10 means half the magnitude of the pulse and this is input frequency and 360d means 1 revolution and dim is used to begin this signal from 1 second. In this example, I will introduce how to create a repetitive signal using MOD function. Mode returns the remainder of dividing x by y. 
for mode with the parameters 1 and 2, it is 1 divided by 2. And it returns its remainder 1. For mode 5 and 3, it returns 2, which is a remainder of 5 divided by 3. If you set the first argument to time, and set the repetitive period for the second argument, t, then the same pattern repeats every t, like this. This is the end of the expression kit. It is important to try make expressions by yourself. Please try to create various kinds of expressions, then you will get used to them. If you have any question, please post your questions on the forum button board on the function bay technical support site. Also, you can download example models through the link below. Thank you.